poultry meals. Let's look and see this. I did. <laughs> oh. They'll put it on the wall for now. What? And then, well, follow the first like five minutes against the wall. No? What do you mean against the wall? I don't know, it's fine. No, just walk around and talk. So every one minute we're taking a picture with Hestia and then we have Vespera and Vespera here well Vespera 1, Vespera 2 yep. and so far so good it's, it was fully covered this morning and now that there's... Is looking pretty clear for the moment we've got some scary clouds coming in from the south uh, well in 20 minutes should be fine because in 20 minutes there 20 is... 20 minutes is when the fatality happens so we're not going to have a problem then so hopefully it's fine yes and there's a ton of people here on the rooftop well, the cloud cover, Dave, is insanely fine for now. I mean, this morning we woke up and it was like storming almost. Well, it's supposed to storm today later. And this morning was fully covered, like thick clouds everywhere. And I swear, like in one hour, it all dissipated. It was insane. It's literally a miracle. It's truly insane. And now, um, my, my, um, my iPad here, you can see the current phase. And it's... Uh, not far from hitting totality, which is in 20 minutes, not even, I think. Well, yeah, in 20, 26 minutes. So, really cool. And we met one of our friends here in Dallas at random, and he has a regular rig. I'm doing a quick uh, YouTube live, you don't mind if I show your rig? Okay. <laughs> so he has a regular rig, he drove all the way from Vegas, and uh, it's super stressful to set up, um, but up hoodie is going to be a very nice picture. He will also be capturing the comet. Did you? Trying. Yeah, trying with this, with this wide, Hopefully. wide uh, lens camera. Everything's been going wrong. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know, our poor buddy Keith. He also has this other camera that he set up that is like oh, a yeah. 80 degree camera. Oh, you have the old sky camera. Oh, yeah. So he's going to get some cool footage and he said he might put it in the planetarium. I guess that's not good too close. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll stay away from that. Oh, but I'll have to use my phone to change settings later because we, we plan to remove the filters during totality. One minute. And I will need my phone to change settings, so hopefully the feed keeps going, but we'll see. Ah, but it, it's it's getting a bit darker, uh, I guess. I, yeah, it's, it can, you can feel that it's a lot cooler now. Uh, we were totally burning in the sun. Had to put on sunscreen because it was that bad. Uh, but everything's looking good. It's leaving its croissant phase. <laughs> Yeah. It's very exciting. And hopefully we'll return again, um, maybe during totality, unless we're really, really busy. And well, I, I guess I'll stay like alive until totality, and then I will quickly check my settings and remove filters yeah. the best I can, and we we'll come back at us. 17 minutes until then, so quite a bit of time. But yeah, so far, Vespera is doing just regular automatic settings, and so far, so good. It did get a bit lost uh, when there were clouds earlier, but. Um, I had to reset the unit and it was fine. So, yeah. hopefully it's all good. Yep. <laughs> you can see behind me all the people there waiting as well. And you can see like, if you look at the, the horizon, like all the way there, there's like, a rooftop, there's people watching as well. Like everywhere you look at, there's people watching, which is really cool. And earlier a plane flew right in front of it, but we missed it. So, but it was yeah, right in front of it. There's a lot of fun planes passing by, so Also, Oop. I'm gonna turn it around on myself. Hi. Um, also, during our trip to Dallas, I had to stop at Bucky's, and I just—it's not promotional at all. I just had to. So, uh, shout out to Bucky's if you guys know what that is. I made Antoine go. He was not impressed, but he enjoyed all the fanfare about it. Are you enjoying yourself? Yep. It's almost there, it's crazy. Hello everybody joining in. Our last eclipse was well the annular, but our last other Total eclipse. eclipse. Yeah, it was 
Well, we weren't in the path. Can you take this back? I need to set my interval. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah, half an network. Sorry, you can't be in the other side right now. You can't leave where can you Well, maybe he's not in the path, I don't know. Oh, so uh, he's walking. Take a five break. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's almost, it's almost scary because my last total eclipse, a successful one, was when I was like six years old. Uh, no, I was eight years old. It was 1999 from France. So the first time. Oh, it tells you like this vocally, nice. Keith has a program which uh, it tells him what to do and when, which is very cool. He's prepared. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so currently, this much. There's one or two sunspots here, which are going to disappear soon. And we're very, very hungry because it's 1.30 p.m. right here and we haven't eaten yet. Just some chips. Yeah, I can s it's getting cooler for sure. It's, it was burning earlier, now it's cooler. It's a bit dimmer now. Yeah. It's almost as, as if you're like on in Dune 2, in black and gray. <laughs> Less saturation. But yeah, it's very scary because we'll have to take the filters out at a very specific time, and that's going to be very stressful. And then put them back in afterwards. Yeah, I think that's the one thing that I haven't really practiced. Um, I'm always scared of moving the, the focuser, but, you know, we have a couple minutes to get it right. And, and Flora says, that one was my first eclipse too, 1999, yeah, Romania. I was in north of France and it was amazing. Well, I was too young to care too much, but... I remember it was amazing. I still have a very good memory of it. I think it was clear, so yeah, that's my a good memory for sure. Italy, yeah, in Italy you cannot see it, but I think in two years you can just travel to Spain and there will be another one. I think I might do that too. Okay, the sunspot almost gone. It's scary. <laughs> crazy but now that it's cool it's actually not that bad yeah and I how will the bird react yeah the most in, i think the most interesting thing i'm waiting for is like what uh nature is going to be like around us because like there are a lot of birds here in texas like wow and i just wonder if they're going to go like if they're going to go quiet <laughs> i'm trying to put my glasses on <laughs> you look very cool it looks really cool wait It's so close now. So close. It is getting darker for sure. Yep. I really wish I can just keep doing the stream, but I, I have to change to me, to my app. Or I can use my iPad. Wait, hold, hold this. So we can just stay there. You can see some scary clouds happening over. I think most of um, the wind is coming from this direction, which is south. Uh, that's where like the Gulf of Mexico is. So not surprising. Um, let's see where we're at now. Gotta protect your stuff. Let me take you over to Hestia. Yeah, so we, we, can, we, can keep, we can keep the video on because I can use my iPad. Oh, I have to take another interval. So that's what I've been doing, I think. Antoine already said it before, but I've been doing like one minute intervals with Hestia. Um, there is a like setting for um, a time lapse, but it's a little too long for what was smoother transition between all of the frames and stuff, but it will export a video, which is really, really nice. Yeah, we got a lot of fun people observing. 
on other rooftops, which is really cool. It's really nice to see people like actually enjoying it, especially if they live here. And I do have to manually like, you know, adjust Hestia every time. Um, just make sure it's in there, but I really only have to do it like horizontally, which is nice. Um, I did knock off the, <laughs> the sun finder <laughs> earlier and I thought that I broke the whole thing, but I didn't. So you gotta have one scary thing happen to you at least. Yeah, when it gets dark, we'll just put them down like under, against the wall so we can actually enjoy it. Yes. And um, change some settings. Can you take this? Ooh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And then um, we'll get you back from the ground and uh, film again. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep the, the stream rolling just against the, the wall there. Because we don't want to, you know, focus too much on the camera while we're gonna be enjoying it with our eyes. Yes, once in a lifetime stuff needs to be an actual experience, not just a one time photo. Yeah. I'm having a hard time. Wow. Let's look at the iPad again. That's how we are right now. My other sunspot is gone. Yeah, they're all gone now. There were two sunspots. One I used to like focus on the side. So now it's a thin crescent. Yep. Crazy. Look at the iPad. That's what it's looking like now. So there is eight minutes left. No, not even. Is it 140 or 138? 140. We have... Okay. Yeah. Point is eight minutes okay. and seven seconds. What about your camera here? It'll call it off. That doesn't have a filter. Oh. <clears throat> but I have to take the filter and the cap off. Yeah. yeah. Everyone is watching, waiting. I also have a GoPro there. Hopefully it works. I'm doing a time lapse. All right, let's see. Okay. It's gonna go fast now. Yeah, it is dark now. Or darker. <gasps> Are you scared? <laughs> I'm not scared, I'm excited. Don't bump into anything, by the way. <laughs> if it's dark. I'm not that clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, exciting. Of well, course. like, point it at yourself. If you're talking. <laughs> well, they came for the eclipse from my face. <laughs> How are you Look behind us, it's crazy. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, I think I will... I'll make sure I enjoy it. <gasps> showing that. It's so close. Yeah. Do you wanna... I, I tried... I tried already. Wait, let me show you guys. But they can't really see it, because it's, it's kind of hard. <laughs> it's too, too bright to see. It won't focus. Yeah, well, I guess you can picture it. Yes, <gasps> might as well go to the tablet. Yeah, I will put you a few seconds, maybe like in two or three minutes. Oh, it's getting dark now. I see, because you can see some like super thin clouds passing over, but... Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's quickly getting dark now. Okay, I will put you down See, somewhere. One thing had to happen <coughs> and then the rest of it is good. <laughs> the way, but... Oh, a drone! It's so close. It really is. You're going to film with a drone. Although with the planes, yeah, I'm sure it's illegal, but what's... <coughs> <coughs> I 
Okay, I'll put you guys against this wall so I can enjoy it. All right, one last look up. Okay, it's really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, I'll put you guys... Whoa. Oh my God. What? It's crazy. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. It's so crazy. Oh my God, Antoine. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Look at it. Look at it. Wow, oh, it's crazy. Here. Oh my God, is Oh, it's really crazy. It's like a sunset all around us. This is a star or Jupiter, I guess. Or Jupiter is there, I think. Some planets are visible. It's insane. You can kind of see the sunset. Yeah, you can see it, yeah. Right. It's really cool. Then this plane must have a good view. Yeah. What do you say? Pictures on?